Hey, what is up guys? Today we're gonna be doing a tutorial on how to add PC games to the machine. That way, if you guys have any PC games that you want to add, uh, you can go ahead and do so. It's also going to be an update as I am going to be using a modified version of Street Fighter 4 uh, to actually go through the tutorial and uh, make sure you download the files that go along with the tutorial down in the description. And so let's get started. First thing you want to do as usual is do control shift escape. Go over to the processes tab, look for hyperspin. There it is, hyperspin.exe32 and to process on that. Then you would go over to your applications tab and you would look, f uh, I'm sorry, you would do new task and type in explorer if it's not already there and then you would hit OK and that would load up the background like you see here. OK, so after that, once you have the file that I provided in, in the description, once you extract that file, you're going to have these two folders, Media and Street Fighter 4, Koryu, or however you pronounce that. Um, so let's open up a new window here. And we're going to actually drag over uh, this entire folder. So you want to go to your games folder. And you want to look for PC games. And we're going to drag this folder right in there. Okay, so, okay, I've already added it before to save time. So I'm not going to do it again. Um, so something to keep in mind is, in this example, I'm already providing this game for you. If you were adding your own game, you would probably have an installer that you would get from, you know, wherever you downloaded the game from. So you would run the installer like you do with any other normal uh, piece of software that you're trying to install on your computer. And then what you want to do is you want to point it to this directory. So you would, you would tell it to install here, D arcade games, PC games, and then you can make up a folder. Let's say you were installing, I don't know, uh, Tekken. Then you would make it, you know, you would make a Tekken folder or tell the installer to install it in a Tekken folder. All right, so in this case, I'm already providing the download for you, the game, I should say. So we just simply dragged it right over here. <clears throat> okay, so next up, we're gonna go to the databases right here, and we're going to look for PC games. And we're gonna open up this database here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll all the way to the bottom. And then I'm going to copy, ignore this, this green text down here. I'm going to copy this last entry all the way from game to game, from the opening tag to the closing tag here. Then I'm going to do right click copy. And I'm going to paste it right underneath here. Paste. Okay, so now this is basically what tells Hyperspin to show the game in the list of games when you select Windows games, right? So you can basically fill this out as you like. You know, you can look up all this information. Now, uh, when did the game come out, the manufacturer, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the description is what actually shows up in Hyperspin over here on the left, on the bottom left, where you see like when you select the game and you see the name appear. That's actually what this is. And then the game name, that is just basically like the ROM name. And you can name that anything you like as long as you keep it consistent across the board. And we're going to go through all of that. So for this example, we're going to just name everything the same as this folder here. So uh, as the same as the download folder that, that, I, that I gave you. So Street Fighter 4 Core U, I'm going to copy that entire name. And we're going to paste that for the name in between the quotations here. And we're also going to paste that for the description. Paste. OK. Now, I believe this particular game came out around 2011. So we're going to go ahead and put that in there. And so the genre would be fighter. And you can just kind of look at the rest of the games that are in the database to kind of know, you know, what the different genres and things like that are. So fighter is one of them. You can see that there's one up here for another Street Fighter. Um, rating you can leave alone. 
and manufacturer would be Capcom, but since this is a hacked version, a modified version, we're just going to go with the actual person who did the modification. So actually I pulled up, uh, if you go to Google and you put in uh, Street Fighter 4 Koryu, you can get all these results. And this second link here will take you to the actual thread when this was published. So um, you can see here what the changes are and what the special features of this particular release are in this thread here. And uh, this was actually released by a guy named Suffer. Uh, so we're actually just going to go with that for the manufacturer. So let's go back to the database and we're going to paste that in here. And just capitalize the Z. All right. So we've got everything filled out and uh, we can go ahead and save this now up here on the floppy disk icon. All right, so next up, we're going to go to File, Open, and we're going to navigate to Rocket Launcher, Modules, PC Launcher, and we're going to look for PCGames.ini, Open, Again, scroll all the way to the bottom. And we're going to copy one of these entries here. We're going to keep it simple. Don't copy one that has all this other stuff filled in. Just copy any one that has just the name and the path to the application like this one here. So we're going to copy that entire thing. And we're going to paste it at the end here. Okay. Now, what you want to do here is you want to change the name of the game obviously from burn zombie burn to the street fighter game which is added and you want to make sure that the name you put in here matches what is in your database over here under game name uh, remember the description is what actually shows up this is just kind of like the rom name the game name and you can make that anything you like so if you wanted to make this just let's say test number two you can do that and just make sure that over here it's also test number two but we're going to keep it consistent, so I'm going to copy this entire name between the quotations. And we're going to paste it over here in between the brackets. All right, next you want to provide the correct path here for the game. So you want to go to that initial folder that we pasted the game into, which was, uh, do I still have it open? I don't think I do. Okay, so let's go to games, PC games, and let's look for Street Fighter 4 Core U right here. Okay, so now you want to go up here, highlight the path, copy. And then we can go back over here and fix it to reflect the correct path of this game. I want to leave the two dots there, do a paste of that path, and then you can get rid of anything before the uh, backslash uh, games. So let's get rid of the arcade. Just leave it just like that, dot, dot, backslash games. And then at the end here, you want to do backslash again. And if we go back to the folder, in this case, you can see that you have a bunch of executables. Um, so you just basically have to know which one it is that you have to choose for the particular game you add. Normally, there will just be one. Um, in this case, since it's a modified version, there's a lot more going on. So for this particular one, you actually have to choose run.exe. In your case, again, it would be whatever the exe to start the game you're adding is. So we're going to go back here and we're going to say run.exe. And we're going to save this. All right, so now we have the game added into the database and the game added into the PC games that I and I, which is just what's going to tell the system this is where the game is. This is what you need to run when you select that game in Hyperspin. All right, so next up, we're going to open up Rocket Launcher, which there's a shortcut right here on the desktop. I already opened it to save some time. So up here on search, you can type in PC 
and it'll bring up anything with that with those uh, letters in it so we're just going to select PC games and then we're going to go over to games up here the games tab we're going to press the play button here that's going to audit the games and show everything that's on the computer under PC games and you can see that the new game which is added is right there so we're going to try to actually launch the game now so we're going to highlight it and we're going to go and click on this rocket icon up here and it's going to come up in a window because I haven't adjusted the settings yet to make it full screen but what you're looking for here is that just to make sure it works and it starts up like it's supposed to and uh, another issue you might run into is once you exit the game so let's try that now if you still see this window here once you exit the game instead of taking you back to hyperspin then you have to perform an additional step that we're going to go into now and you also get an error message which should be popping up here in a second okay so if you get this just hit escape and this is what you have to do to fix that we're going to go over to the modules tab up here select PC launcher.ahk and select this icon the third one from the left from the right here edit system specific module settings then we're going to look for the game in here here it is and you want to click this icon next to app weight exe just say no to this one this prompt here and now just read what it says there but basically you have to click the launch button here and once the game starts you're going to click uh, you're going to press Control Q on the keyboard and then you want to quit the game and come back to here and hit OK. So we're going to try that. Launch. OK, now the game started. Now you can go ahead and press Control Q. And we're going to go ahead and where did the game go? I don't know why it's not in the foreground here. Let's see. Let's just go ahead. And, no! Oh, all right. And escape on that. There's the game. Okay, so we're going to exit out. And we're going to come here and click OK. And you can see that um, in this case, it isn't sure of which exactly one is the one that it has to choose so it gives you an option and these are the two here um, we can pretty much go with this first one and if you get this type of thing going on you can try both until it works uh, but this first one should do it for us so we're gonna highlight that and actually we're gonna double click that and you can see that it filled it in now for us so now if we try to start the game again and you can do it directly from here again highlight it and just press the launch icon All right, you can see that now the game loaded and that loading screen in the background disappeared. So now it's no longer going to stay there and give you that error message. All right, so that's how you fix that. So at this point, we're going to actually exit this game. Uh, do you want Actually, before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and just fix the settings real quick. So PC settings. Let's see, see full screen is off. That's why we're getting the window. All right, so that's fixed. And then uh, you can mess with these settings later. I just wanted to make it full screen. So let's go ahead and go back and do quit. Yes. All right, so you can close this window out now. And let's minimize rocket launcher. And let's just start up uh, Hyperspin. All right, so now if you go down to Windows Games, you can see that the game we just added is right there. Now, we didn't add media, so you're not going to get any video or specific theme or a wheel image like the rest of these. 
And that part, I'm going to leave up to you guys. You should definitely check out the Hyperspin forum and go over there and register if you haven't done so already. And uh, you can find pretty much downloads for all the media and stuff like that over there and learn how to uh, get those downloads automatically. Uh, for this case, I will provide the media, so we're going to install that now. But for any games that you guys add, you're going to want to go and grab the media from over there. There's a download section. You can type in the name of a game, and often you find the theme and the wheel image and everything like that for the game. So let's go ahead and exit Hyperspin. Okay, and... Again, go back to the download I provided, which in my case is in here, and you should have a media folder. Let's open that up. And then you want to go on the computer to the media folder here and look for PC games. And we're gonna start with the video. So we're gonna drag this video right over into the video folder. Let's make sure it went in there. Yep, there it is. And in this case, uh, this 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 uh, wheel image here doesn't have the proper name. Remember, everything has to have the right name across the board. So download that I provided, it will have the proper name, but I left this like this just to show you it as an example. If you were to put this image in there, it wouldn't show up when you go into Hyperspin because it doesn't have the proper name. So we're just going to rename it to match the rest of the files and the game name in the database. So now that it's properly named, we can go ahead and go into the images folder wheel and drag that right in there. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go into themes and I'm going to drag this zip folder right into themes. All right. So now if we open up Hyperspin, we should have all the correct artwork that shows up for that game. And there it is. Now you have your wheel image, you have the theme, and you have the video. And then we're going to go ahead and start the game. And it should come up full screen, and you should be ready to go. There we go. And that's it, guys. That's pretty much how you add a PC game into the system. I know it seems like a lot of steps, but once you do it a few times, it'll be pretty easy to do it. And uh, regarding this specific game here, it's actually just a modified version of Street Fighter 4. You can do all sorts of cool things like throw multiple fireballs and things like that. Let's see if I can show you real quick. Uh, sure. All right, let's do arcade mode. Let's put it on real easy here. And let's see, choose Ryu here, skip this cutscene. And as you can see, you have a bunch of fireballs when you do a Hadouken, which normally wouldn't be there. So that's just kind of the kind of thing you can do with this modified version here. You can also do... Let's see if I can pull something off here. There you go. Let's see. Okay, let's try this. There you go. That's really cool. Okay, and a few other things I want to show you guys. So first off, if you have my machine and you go to your arcade folder right here on the left and you see a rocket launcher copy folder, you can go ahead and right click delete. That'll make some space for you. And so this is related to what I'm about to show you. If you have no space to install new games, you know, the drive is pretty packed. You can actually use an external drive and uh, put everything on an external drive. And what you would do in that case is, you know, before when we went to games and then we did PC games, 
and then we dragged it to the folder in here where I told you when you run your installer, you would point it to this directory. All you would do is you would drag that to, let's say, an external drive, and uh, then you would, or you would install the game to an external drive, and then you would just come here to Rocket Launcher, select PC games, and then you would go over to the Games tab. I'm sorry, not the Games tab, the Emulators tab, and right here, ROM Paths. Uh, you would basically add a new path. So this is your existing one, games, PC games. You would go add new ROM path, and you would just look for your external drive. Let's say this one here, files. And you would just choose that. Let's say you want to do, I don't know, any path. You just choose it, and then it'll show up here as a secondary path. And uh, then this uh, is going to look for games both on this path and your new path, which will be your external drive. And then the other thing to keep in mind is you would obviously, on your PC games I and I, when you did that step where you pointed it to games, PC games, Street Fighter 4, you would obviously point it to the path of your external drive. So that's it. That's how you could add a game to an external drive if your internal drive is full. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. If you enjoyed it as usual, leave a thumbs up below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.